Yes, guys, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Thanks very much for joining us out here on the golf course at Jumeirah Golf Estates. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. If at the end of the video you've enjoyed it, please also do hit that like. And drop me a comment below. Is this tip going to, some, it's going to be something that's going to help you on the golf course? And today is all about impact. So is this tip going to help you improve your impact, improve your ball flight, improve your distance? Because that's what we want to try to do on the golf course. So we're going to be talking about how the club face is at the top of the backswing and that problem that we're going to create with an open club face at the top of the backswing, how we can rectify it on the way back down to give you a stronger impact and an all round better ball flight. Right, so before we get started, do not be alarmed. This red t-shirt is going to get darker and darker by the minute because it's 50 degrees. Okay, so this is going to be the sweatiest golf tip you've ever watched. However, it's going to be the sweatiest golf tip that helps you improve your impact position. Okay, so one of the things I see a lot of at the top of the backswing is a weak club face position. So not being able to control the face as you get to the top. So as you, if you look at the position of my club face, now the face points directly at you guys on the, on the screen. So the club face points to the, to the right of target or the toe of the club points down to the ground. Now, what a golfer's got to do on the way down to the ball is basically not only get that club face back to neutral, but also then start to rotate it and maintain its neutral position through impact, through the downswing, through impact, and through the follow through as well. So that's a lot going on. That's a lot of hand movement through the downswing alone. And what that causes is a golfer to cast the club. So if this is you, this is the tip for you because we need to get rid of this position. We don't want to see the club as an extension of the lead arm too early into the downswing because that, that there is a lot of power. We use this position, we use this movement at that position we're creating power, we're creating speed. We're also in enabling an angle of attack of the club to hit down onto the ball. So we're compressing the ball and the trajectory of the ball flight is a little bit lower. It's coming out a lot stronger. So it has a huge implication on what type of goal shot you're going to hit. So I want to try and see club face control at the top of the backswing, whereby if we take the club away, we're going to keep the club face pointing down towards the ground. As we get to the top of the backswing, we're going to get the club face pointing more up towards the sky at the top of the backswing, because what that's going to enable now is just to hold the angle here between the left arm and the club. And as we do so, because we now don't need to square the face up because it's already square, we're able to hold the angle, hold the angle, and then release it at the last point into impact. For golfers that get open, the club face starts to rotate early on, which then means we start to cast it. So this is that kind of casting motion, and it comes from fishing. I've never actually been fishing. So it comes from that casting motion there. We start to square the club face up, which is great. The club face is now square. However, when we hit the ball, we're not really hitting it with any purchase. We're not hitting it with any power or not much power. We can't create power from the hands. We can't create power from the resistance of the body because if we're coming back down and using this, as we start to get into the downswing, we're using very minimal body rotation through the ball as well. So we start to lose the hips, start to lose the, the, the rotation of the torso, the shoulders. We start to really lose a lot of power. So we've got, and that all comes from the club face position at the top. So golfers don't just suddenly decide to cast it. Don't, you don't just develop a cast. You, your body is manipulating your swing to help you hit the ball straight. So the casting is a consequence of being open at the top of the backswing. The casting is because the club face is open and it, the, the body is effectively trying to help you get the club face back to straight before you actually even hit the ball. So we've got to go straight to the root cause. And the root cause could have started at setup when the club face, oh sorry, sorry, the takeaway I should say, when the club face opened up on the way back. If the club face starts to open up on the way back, there's two things we've got to look at. How you're holding the club, and obviously how you're using your hands and how you're using your shoulders as you start to come away from the ball. So one of the things we've got to make sure, just going back to basics on the grip, two knuckles showing on the left hand, no more than two knuckles on the right hand, ideally one knuckle on the right hand. Then from here, get the toe of the club or the toe club pointing left, club face pointing to the ground. As we start to swing up to the top, under much more control with the face again at the top. Then on the way down, because we've got the club face nice and square, it's stabilized. The angle between left arm and club is very strong. We can really start to unwind, un un to rotate round towards the target 
with the lower body, like so. I've absolutely pured that. Just hit it over the back. Um, <laughs> I've got the club going down into the back of the ball. We've compressed it. We've got ball, then divot. Got the lower body pointing out towards the target before we even got to the ball. A golfer that casts the ball will get the, the body staying pretty square as you're hitting because the whole focus of your downswing is to try and get the club face back to square. It's to cast it. And therefore, you're not able to utilize your lower body. And invariably, the swing's gonna look something like this. It's gonna look, you get to the top, you start to cast it, you get minimal turn, but as you can see, my impact position, my hands are on top of the ball. I've got, I've kind of maintained the eight iron loft, so I haven't compressed it and managed to de-loft it at all. Managed to, I've just kept the, kept the loft of the eight iron. Lower body hasn't really turned, body weight hasn't really gone towards that left side. There wasn't really a powerful movement towards the ball. So you often kind of see that motion, and the ball, lovely little strike to be fair on that one. Ball's popped up so much higher and I've actually left it about 20 yards short of the green. So the difference in the distance is absolutely huge. We start to open the face, cast it on the way down. We're not able to utilize the rest of the body on the way through. And we're just gonna hit the ball really, really short. So a lot of golfers do struggle with this. And the casting position, on the way down can also lead to an out to in swing as well. So when you do swing, if you swing the club back and we get open and you're starting to cast it, as you rotate, notice where the club goes. Look at the angle of the club. It starts to work more on the outside. If you get to the top of the backswing with a neutral position, you don't have to cast it. Look where my club is now. And that's really not by extending, pushing my arms away from the body and being disconnected. That's because of my wrist angle. So from here, or there, where do you want to be? You want to be the club more behind the body, toe of the club pointing up. That's the position we want to try and stay in. So if you get the club face open, turn your body to hit the ball and cast it, the club is now out to in, weaker than ever, high, slicey shot, and really frustrating as well, as I'm sure, as I'm sure the guys at home watching this will already know. So top of the back swing, we get it nice and neutral. We maintain that neutral position which means the club stays behind the body, and then we can rotate. We can rotate the body into the ball for maximum power. Guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like. If this is something that's gonna help you when you get next go down to your practice session, onto the driving range or to the golf course, please do go give it a try and let me know your feedback. How has it helped? And have you seen a difference in the flight? Have you seen a difference in the distance? And then obviously, have you seen a difference onto the golf course? But from a very sweaty Dubai, Time to go get the towel out. See you again.